It would be easy to explain why this timepiece is so prestigious. It would be easy to describe this watch as perfect. After spending a week with it in the middle of a vast ocean, absent Wi-Fi and data service, another adjective that begins with a P began to appear. It scrawled itself along every chamfer, every surface, every curve. The Cartier Santos is civilian men's first wristwatch and the first pilot watch. It blew in popularity during the quartz crisis of the 70s and 80s, navigating treacherous waters with ease. And finally, today, while everyone moves towards consumer electronics, Kevin O'Leary's definition of smartwatches, this square beauty came first and is here to stay long after Apple watches fade in toxic landfills around the world. That's why the Cartier Santos is perennial. It is everlasting. When taking a closer look at this medium-sized two-tone 2018 model, it's easy to see why. This channel reviews luxury watches through a narrative focal lens. If you like this content, please support us by clicking the subscribe button and liking the video. This will help us provide weekly quality content for your viewing pleasure. I appreciate you. Thank you. Cartier was referred to as the jeweler of kings and the king of jewelers by King Edward VII of Great Britain. Having been founded 175 years ago, up to the making of this video, Cartier is regarded as one of the most prestigious jewelry manufacturers in the world. It's ironic, isn't it? How a fine jeweler would cement itself in history by providing Alberto Santos Dumont, a Brazilian pioneer aviator, with the perfect tool for reliably timing his flights in 1904. But as popularity grew, the timepiece began selling in a variety of platinum and yellow gold models, and this was even the first watch to adopt a leather band with a deployed buckle. It's this marriage between elegance, robustness, and innovative practicality that set the building blocks for the Cartier Santos well-rounded versatility and undying amour. Those building blocks pump through the gears of this 2018 medium two-tone Santos. At first glance, it looks like a vintage model. At a case size of 35 millimeters and 41.9 millimeters, and a case thickness of 8.83 millimeters, this Santos presents itself in classic dress proportions, keeping the watch compact, fitting snug and subtly on the wrist. It's as if it was tailored. It's so light that it feels like it's not there. It also slips under any cuff. It wears similar to a 39 millimeter watch. I never thought I'd say this, but it's the perfect size. Accompanying the reserved proportions is the iconic silvered opaline dial, showcasing perfect symmetry and doing away with the date feature. In certain lighting, you'll catch a glimpse of the inky features of the Roman numerals and the miniature Cartier signature embedded in the seven numeral. Adding to the perplexing conundrum are the glimmering steel blue sword hands, which fiercely stand out from the rest of the dial, but blend in with the manufactured sapphire crown. Adding to the vintage elegance is the contrasting two-tone design of the 70s and 80s. The gold bezel, however, now seamlessly flows into the bracelet, enunciating the look of a perpetually clever integrated bracelet. My favorite thing about the gold bezel is its tapering round profile, which adds character and luxurious detail to the watch. What most fascinates me about the gold on the Santos is its subtlety. It doesn't scream yellow gold, but it doesn't shy away from itself either. In certain lighting, it looks like steel. In other lighting, you can tell they use a slightly darker red hue to keep its reserved elegance. But nothing looks as incredible as the bracelet. The gold screws, amidst a sea of well-rounded links, play with light so incredibly. It's quite obvious that a prestigious jeweler is the mastermind behind the design. There is absolutely nothing to change the vintage elegance of this timepiece. Timeless ruggedness narrates the design language. Chamfered, polished edges provide a sharp outline along the case of the watch and increases its wrist presence. Crown guards protect the crown and seamlessly integrate with the case. 
The steel version of the Santos is the perfect one watch collection. It goes well with jeans and a t-shirt, on either gender's wrist, and can easily be worn with a suit. A 100 meter water resistant certification and resistance to magnetic fields up to 1200 gauss adds to its sporty appeal. This versatility is one of the most blatant signs of longevity. Alas, we reach innovative practicality, the final leg of the perennial tripod. Being the first male wristwatch in production, having the first deployment buckle, and creating an elegant integrated bracelet design have all been strokes of genius that have kept the Stantos ahead of the curve. But in this 2018 model, the bracelet subtly brings an engine to a bike race. Gone are the days of screw pins, spring bars, and watch tools. The Smart Link system allows for convenient changes to your bracelet with just your nails. Press into the bottom button and pull downward from the case to easily remove the bracelet from the case. Snapping it back into place is easier than it is to remove. The links carry a button that when pressed will push out an integrated pin which can easily be pulled outward for link removal. When done, just push it back inward until you hear the click. If this doesn't innovate the watch industry as a whole, nothing will. While the case may appear flat, it's seamlessly curved along its Z-axis to provide ergonomic support to the wearer, while simultaneously evading glare across its sapphire crystal. To say this is the most comfortable watch I have ever worn is an understatement. The Cartier Santos is and has always been one of the most popular watches in the world, and it'll continue to be thanks to its perennial aura. Its devoted design reminds us of simpler times, while providing ergonomic and interactive innovation and modern versatility. This Santos is a lighthouse beacon amidst the dark, changing tides of the watch industry. It stays firmly placed upon its humble core values and continues to stand prestigiously above the rest with purity and valor. Unlike the Lighthouse of Alexandria or the Colosseus of Rhodes, this timepiece will stay rooted for centuries to come. It was born in the pioneering days of aviation and will persist above and beyond, out of reach from the short lifespans of electronic smartwatches and OLED TVs. If your watch box still doesn't have a Cartier Santos in it, then it's time to rethink your collection.